You use your brakes hundreds, if not thousands, of times a day. You speed up, you need to slow down, you need to stop at the traffic lights. In fact, braking has become such an everyday part of the driving experience that you barely even think about it anymore. And then you have one of those moments. That's when you find out if your brakes are really up to the job, and that's our job. At TMD Friction, we are one of the largest manufacturers of automotive friction in the world. We've been making the brakes that the world's drivers rely on for over 100 years. And not just for passenger cars, but also for trucks, for trains, for gigantic pieces of industrial equipment like wind turbines. In fact, if it moves, it's our job to stop it, reliably and safely. We have factories on four continents across the world focused on the needs of vehicle manufacturers and of everyday drivers. Almost a million pieces roll off our production lines every single day. We make a huge investment in R&D that enables us not only to meet the needs of special vehicles, but to meet the needs of local drivers no matter where they are in the world. So, whether you're stuck in a Shanghai traffic jam in a Super Mini, whether you're thundering down the Autobahn in a Mercedes SLS, or even if you're in the lead in the Le Mans 24-hour race, it's a pretty safe bet that the brakes you rely on have been engineered by TMD Friction. Welcome to our world. Now, let's just consider what we've just seen in that tiny time frame when we try to break two tons of metal from maybe 100 or 120 kilometers per hour down to zero. From the moment you hit the brake pedal, it takes just nanoseconds for the pads to come into contact with the disc and for the friction forces to come into play. That generates energy. If we take a practical example, you're driving down the motorway 100 kilometers per hour, you have to do an emergency stop. That stop takes around three seconds. In that one brake application, we generate sufficient energy to boil two liters of water. And just think about it. That's enough to make 21 cups of tea. If we were now to look at the commercial vehicle, then that would generate sufficient energy to boil over 25 litres of water for 253 cups of tea in just four seconds. Essentially, you are relying on just a few centimetres of friction material to do all this. That's why it is so important you have the right friction material. At TMD Friction, our materials contain up to 20 individual compounds. Why 20? because we need to cover for all the different applications and environments the brake will operate in. We also have to take into consideration fuel efficiency, noise, and wear and tear on the components of the brake system. We also expect that the vehicle will brake in a straight line, regardless of speed and also weather conditions. Be that 20 degrees below in the Arctic Circle, or in a country where your bonnet is hot enough to fry an egg, you need consistent performance from your brake system. Our trouble could be just around the corner. We're all familiar with the ECE R90 regulations. These are a very basic set of tests based on so-called normal conditions. In reality, are there such things as normal conditions? For instance, take this normal family car but then we add mum and dad, 2.2 kids, the dog, luggage, bicycle, tent. Overall, there's a significant increase in the vehicle weight. But using TMD friction materials, you won't notice the difference. 
Now, let me show you how confident I am that our brakes will work the same each time. Behind me, there's a fully laden people carrier traveling at 100 kilometers per hour. Just back there, there is a white line. When the driver sees the white line, he's gonna hit the brakes. We're gonna stop that vehicle in exactly 40 meters. That's just about here. Of course, stopping a people carrier is one thing. Now let's consider stopping a fully laden truck. When we're developing commercial vehicle disc brake pads and linings, we go to great lengths to ensure we develop them to the same high standard. Just like this. Now, let me explain why I was so confident. Because TMD Friction, every year, spend over 20 million euros on the development and testing of friction materials. We have over 40 test vehicles constantly running on roads and on test tracks to prove out our products. Those 40 test vehicles cover over 3 million kilometers every year. And at the end of the day, it takes up to three years to prove out a friction material before we offer it to the customers. All that effort, investment and time goes into this box. So what's next? What's the future of friction? Well, we're already there. This is our latest creation, the EPAD. It's a truly global product, engineered to produce quieter, cleaner braking with performance that suits the world markets. This specially developed technology we call regenerative friction, where a special film is transferred from the pad to the rotor and back again every time you use the brakes. This unique technology means the EPAD wears less, is cleaner, is quieter, and is better for the environment. The EPAD gives us a glimpse of the future. But in fact, we're already supplying these products to TMD Frictions customers around the world today. This is just one of the many things we are doing to meet the different challenges facing the automotive industry today. We're taking great strides to reduce the ecological impact of our manufacturing processes. We're helping the vehicle manufacturers achieve greater fuel efficiency. And with products like the EPAD, we meet the demands for cleaner, more efficient brake pads that meet the requirements of our global customers. Welcome to the future.